All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here with the 2020 offseason for the UAB Blazers. And let me get my mic close to me, closer to me here so that you guys can hear what I'm saying. And uh, we can have a good old time. First view. Oh my god, we already got people in here. That's like y'all are just, just jumping on it. Like, damn. What up, Tennessee uh, Scar fan? What up, Andrew? What up, Sap? Uh, we are here for the off-season stream for the UAB Blazers Dynasty. What's up, Bulls Rules? Ah, uh, man. Y'all are in here early. I like it. Oh, man. That is, that's awesome. All right. Um, what's up, Clemson? Um, but do, 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 do. Let me try and get this out to everybody. I just literally made the tweet. All right. Well, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going to do this. Y'all are just so quick to just jump on it. Y'all are fast. Like, damn. All right. We're going to get ready underway here with the offseason stream. We just won our fourth straight national championship. And uh, I will take probably about an hour or so. UAB is eligible, bowl eligible in real life. Yeah, they've had a really good season so far. Uh, six and three. I think they could probably finish, um, you know, eight and four. I would like to see that. Um, that's actually really good for them. I'm glad they bounced back so quickly. You know, they've had a they've had a really good year so far. Um, will they win the conference USA? I don't know. It's really tough. I've went 14 and 0 the past five seasons. Only won four straight national championships. Um, we'll go back here to like. Oh god, 1996. We, wow, let's go as far back. Um, let's go back when we started this thing. Uh, six and six, ten and four, ten and twelve and two, fourteen and zero ever since. Um, all right. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, we got a six-year extension to 2025. We're in the first year of our five year or six year extension, so we're just gonna we're just gonna go on here. Uh, players leaving. This is actually gonna be interesting because I know a lot of our younger players, like our main players, like Kenny Wright, are gonna be staying. Uh, we got, I think, Cedric Maxwell is finally leaving for the pros. We might have some players leave for the pros early. I have no idea. So interesting how that's gonna work. Not off, not to get off topic, but I have a random idea about for a dynasty. How about starting you with the. Uh, how about starting with a UAB like team with but have minimal recruiting, maybe getting a few stars here or there, and then winning a national championship with the middle of a road talent? I think the games would be a lot fun to watch. That's a good point. I mean, I have won so many games in a row. It's really hard to. Oh god, I got a new defensive coordinator. Oh Jesus, this should be fun. Why do, I Why do my coordinators keep leaving? It's like we're winning national championships. I'm, nice. uh, I'm trying to stream Live 18. I haven't had the time to uh, do it lately because my brother just got married yesterday. And uh, we had the, one of the best times of our lives yesterday. So that was that was fun. Um, how many straight games have I won? I haven't lost. I've won like 68 games in a row. Um, coaching changes. I think one of my coordinators left for... SEC. Yeah, my offensive coordinator staying. Old coach Jones left for new job. What a bum. What a bum. <laughs> I know a lot of people seem to be rooting for the computers uh, these days. Uh, it's, it seems kind of weird. Uh, we're going to take a look at the uh, players leaving. Frank Clements, a junior, projected to be first-round draft pick. Oh, gosh. Um, projected fourth-round pick. Sixth-round pick. Sixth-round pick. Seventh-round pick. Uh, Andre Smith wants to transfer to Tennessee due to playing time. Second-round draft pick. Uh, third Second-round draft pick. And a third-round draft pick. All these are seniors, though, so there's no way I can get these guys to come back. I could try and get him to get more playing time. I can try and get him to play at least nine games. 
Too late, coach. I've already made up my mind to transfer. What a dick. Yeah, he wants the head coaching money. Um, what do you? How many years do you plan on doing with this dynasty? I plan on going as far as I can. Uh, I think the max is like 30 years. Um, yeah, it's, it's, I don't know how far this thing goes. Um, I'm going to try and get... I can't get a first round draft pick, possibly. I can't take that away from him. I honestly can't. I don't think I should either. Uh, promise the player he'll regret... Not regret staying to get his college degree. Um, round true draft pick. Yes, he's coming back. Sweet! Yeah, everybody seems to be rooting for the computer. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I'm going to try and get him to be a second round draft pick. I was told if I stay, it would help in my draft status. Um, yeah, the, you need to stay too. You're going to be a... It was a tough decision, but he's going to stay. He's going to stay. Um... Wow, I'm surprised these guys didn't go pro or anything. These guys were good players. Cedric Maxwell's not going to graduate. Not going to go to the NFL. That's weird. You never would have thought, like, players like 88 overall or 90 overall are going to go just do elsewhere things. Um, now it looks like we're going to re rely on Aaron Hardy at running back. Which he's a good back. He really is. I think he's going to be a lot better than what a lot of people think. Andre Smith is leaving though because he's a 78 overall freshman that's leaving. I need to keep my corners though. That's the problem. Like these guys are just too good to just le let just go. Especially since they could be higher up in potential. Uh, I, th I think that's the best way to go. I can't get him to stay though. I get Should I get him to stay? I don't know. It's really hard. It's going to be low. I'm going to go guarantee national championship. I want... I want you... want. I know you want an answer, Coach, but I'm weighing my options. You're right, Coach. I love this university. I'm going to hang out another year. He's going to stay! Woohoo! He's going to stay. We got him to stay. I wanted him to stay. He's too good to let go, man. He's just too good. Man. Yeah, your four players are now gone. Yeah, they're all gone. So, we got him to stay at least. So, that's good. I, I just, it, it kind of bums me out that a freshman like that is going to leave. Because of playing time, kind of, really, in, a, in a sense. Like, it's kind of, it's kind of a bummer. So we're going to go into the next stage, I suppose, and just see the transfer request. See if we can get anybody. Oh, export draft club. We don't even have Madden 25. That shit's long gone, baby. That shit's long gone. Draft results. Jay Henderson got drafted in the second round. Omar Bradford, second round. Thomas Mueller, third round. And Brennan Carter got drafted in the last round. Probably was one of those guys who's like... I don't know, Mr. Irrelevant, if you want to call it. I don't know, that's the best way I can put it. Um, what's up, Darkwing? Uh, transfer requests. Anybody want to come to UAB? Nope, not at all. So I guess we're on to the next stage. Recruiting! The best part. Right? I would say it's the best part. <sighs> now we get to see who's coming into UAB for year number nine of this. And we're, our team's only getting better, too. It's just weird how Justin Kelly, probably the greatest quarterback to ever step foot on this campus, is now going to be an afterthought, <laughs> in a sense. I don't know. He was he was really good. 99 overall quarterback. But yet this team just keeps finding ways to improve. It's weird. Um, let's see here. Overall... I got such a big lead on, um, I don't have a big lead on Mike Wright, but I can try and at least get some points on him, like 5,000 or something. I only need, like, three players, I think. 
They got a lot of players coming in next year. And I'm probably going to have to cut like a bunch of them too. It's hard to think about. And this guy's good too. Noah Newberry. He's going to be a good player too. Defensive tackle. We we just lost defensive tackles too. And that's that's another crazy thing. We just lost defensive tackles and yet we're going to get another one. That's going to be just as good if not better. Probably better. Because I think Jermaine Parsons was like a 87 when he left. And now we got a one that... Oh god, look at this class. Okay, we're going to put like 7,500 on both of them. I only want like these two. These are the only two I really care about right now. Only two I care about. That's fine. That's good. That's Gucci right there. And I'll never say that word again. God. That's that's terrible. What's up, Harrison? What's up, my dude? Alright. So that's I think that's all we're gonna do for those guys right there. And as far as um points to go around because I think those are the only two guys we only need to really worry about at the moment because god we have like the number one recruiting class again this year it's crazy it's absolutely nuts oh man what's scare what's gonna scare me next year is to see how much this team has improved compared to last year you know like we were like a 94 or 95 overall last year on offense and 92 on defense and we were like 93 overall and you know you can win every game what's up uh kaiwando kaiwado kaiwadwo what's up man all right oh my god we got a 56 overall on our team that's no bueno <laughs> that's no bueno uh we got we got the guys we wanted though that's all we wanted number one class once again stop winning you know, I've been close to losing a couple times. <laughs> I'm not afraid to say that. I have been close to losing a few times since uh, I've, I'm, I've, on my, uh, I've been on my winning streak. 95 overall team. 97 overall not offense, 92 defense. Like, it's kind of hard to lose, man. It just is. Now with a new defensive, my, uh, defensive coordinator becoming a head coach, it's like, well, my defense might struggle a little bit. Oh, God. You know, I've been thinking about it, and I kind of wanted to... I kind of want to get a quarterback for my Bengals franchise. Um, oh, no, I've been... Oh, God, Rorty. I've been, I've been close to losing more than a couple times. That's just... I was just, you know, making it seem small. <laughs> Compared to the... You know, we've lost... Obviously, we've only lost 10 games... No, 12 games in this dynasty. But... Yeah, we've had a huge winning streak. <laughs> um, I do like I, I I like the Justin Kelly suggestion for sure. I love it, you know. And it you never know; it might just happen. It might. It might. We have the number one recruiting class. We have four five star recruits, four, 15 four star recruits, and uh, let me. Four three stars and no two or ones. That is just an amazing recruiting class. And we got 23 recruits, tops in the nation. Number one recruiting class, again, for the second straight year. And what's going to be scary about this is, is just how much development this team is going to have. Uh, position changes. Oh, God. That's going to be another tough one. I got so many good players. All these athletes going to come in now and change up the entire thing. Um... Athletes. Henry Harrington, number three athlete, 92 speed, 85 agility, 88 acceleration. Um, not a quarterback. He's pretty good at running back though. Um, uh, 73 receiver. Can he hit? Can he play defense? He can play corner. Oh, he could definitely play free safety. That's his best position, actually. Devin, Devin Lemon Jr. Never say never. Never say never is right, Dan Tyler. Never say never. Um, let's take a look at my free safety position. Uh, 93 senior. Senior here. Sophomore here. Freshman here. God, we have so many good players. 
this hurts. It honestly does. It honestly hurts to have this young talent be this good. I can't put him at running back. I have six running backs. Six. Oh my god. It actually kills me to do this. Uh, I guess he's going to free safety for now. Um, 77 running back. I can't have any more running back. 6'3", 226. 90 speed. Hmm. Could he be a linebacker? No. Oh, God, no. He can't tackle. I think he's free safety 71, but I'm thinking about putting him at wide receiver. There we go. And then Sean Cummings. 91 speed. He has a 78 at running back. 73 receiver. 52 tight end. Um, let's see what he's... 79 free safety. 70... Oh, my goodness. Why is everybody good at free safety? 6-3-2-15. I'm going to put him at corner. I'm going to put him at corner. I dare you to cut a bunch of your freshmen. Oh, God. No, I can't do that. That would be so bad. That would be so bad. I think I'm going to save these changes, though. I think... Um, let's see what else I have. Mm. It hurts to have this much talent on the team. I might have to cut Jared Wiley, though. Honestly. Honestly. Like, Jay Harris is a quarterback. Four-star quarterback. Better better ceiling than um, Jared Wiley. Um, let me look at full running back. Aaron Hardy... Uh, Darren Carter, J J uh, Jermaine McAfee, uh, Jason Henley. God, look at this team. Oh, my goodness. Junior fullback, TJ Marshall. Can we move over somebody over to fullback? There's a power back on this team. I might just do that. Power back, and Darren Carter, 6'5", 11, 230. I think I'm going to move Darren Carter over to fullback. Even though, oh god, he's overall just drops like a. You should start Brian Gilliam at quarterback. Ha! <laughs> Funny. Um, god dang it. I hate this because I, I I have so many good players. It's just sad. Derek Henderson is already in the fifth string as a freshman. Out of look at all these receivers, it's ridiculous. Well, obviously, I think Tiger Bray's going to be cut. Um, sadly. 95 speed. He could be a return man. No, nah, his, accel his acceleration is too low. I can't do that. Um, my God. Can I put anybody at tight end? We are short in that position. Anybody who's tall and a little bit bulkier at wide receiver... No, not really. <laughs> Sin, do you play high school football? What, if so, what position? Um, I was a safety. I'm built like one now. I'm like 6'2", 220 almost. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm pretty, uh, pretty stocky guy. <laughs> um... Although 6'4", 245 is a lot bigger than I am. Oh my goodness. Why do we have so much good players, but yet we're thin at tight end? 6'3". Um, Can we put Tony Phillips at tight end? He's not terrible at it. What's his speed? 60. Oh, goodness. Yeah, that's not good. We need a fullback. Hmm. Like, why is it so hard? If you have any, if people have suggestions of what where I can move some players, like that would be dope. I can't find players to go to other places. I have five corners. Okay, that's probably a, a good thing. Um, Henry Harrington. I might move him over the corner, or maybe I won't. He's, he's he's graduating.
How did I do Brent Frank Clement bad? He's a first round draft pick. Still, he's gonna be a he's still gonna be a first round draft pick. He's the best receiver in the game. He wanted to stay and get his degree. We have oh my god, look at this talent pool though. As soon as he leaves, that talent pool is gonna shrink a little. We need him. We need Frank Clement. Because after that, you're we got Jacob Ingram, Ben Smith, Steve McDaniel. They're all good players, but they're not like. They're not Frank Clement. We needed him. Um, because after that, like I said, the the Ross, he's the nine, he's the only ninety overall receiver. Try Todd Dunn, Tom Dunn's, Tommy Dunn at corner. He's only a seventy. That's kind of low for a guy like him. We might have to cut him, actually. Hmm. Steve Evans. Dude can't kick more than 45-yard field goals. I think he may... Actually, no, I take that back. You have, like, 4,000 receivers, though. You're good. I know. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> you have like 4,000 receivers. Yeah, but he af after that, after this year, we know Frank Clement's going to be gone. But this gives them time to develop, and then at least when I next year comes around, that talent pool is going to get better. You know what I mean? Because this is a young receiving team, except for Steve McDaniel, which he's not really that good anyway. Yeah, I think everybody below 75 is going to have to get cut or something. Yeah, Rick ba Ryan Barry's going to get cut. Um, Ryan Cruz is going to be cut. I think Shane Franklin might get cut too. Yeah, we're going to have to cut a lot of players. Training results. Near the bottom, you notice you have a 6 five. Move him to tight end. A 6-5 receiver. I could put him at third string tight end. Depends on the results, of course. Frank Clemens a 98, man. Holy crap. Kenny Wright a 97 with a 92 speed. Wesley Thompson, 89 overall as a sophomore. Jared Wiley, 79. Uh, not too impressive. Uh, Aaron Hardy, 89 overall. Uh, Jermaine McAfee is an 87. Darren Carter, 86. And Jason Henley, 85. Fullback position, I'm pretty strong there. 88 and a 79. Um, let's see here. Jacob Ingram's an 86. Ben Smith, 85. Steve McDaniel, an 83. Joe Ingram, 83. Rashawn Chase, 82. Luke Campbell, 82. Ryan Berry, 81. Uh, Shane Franklin, 76. Ryan Cruz, 76. Man, we got such a deep team. Eric Thornton, 71. Eh. That's 71, 6'5 rec receiver. I think he was a freshman. Um, 88 overall, Brandon Turner. Adrian McBride at 85. We got a good offensive line too. That's that's scary too. Lawrence Taylor 92, 91. God, our old line is stacked this year. Frank Dubzit, Frank Dubzinski is an 81 as a sophomore. Nice, I like that. Jonathan Johnson 88, Jermaine Robinson 83. Got some good depth there. Keenan Brown 89, Tajon Kemp 82. John, uh, John Johnson, 892. David Wright, 91. Such a good team. Sup, TMB. What's up, man? Uh, Ray Stokes, 89. We got Kyle McMillan and Kevin Smith at 93 overalls a piece. I think Kevin Smith might, re might be returning kickoffs this year. Uh, Kevin Owens, 89. Ike Franklin, 88. Travis Rogers is a 96. Oh my god. 
Brian Avery, 86. Tom Dunn, 85. Uh, Brandon Goodman, 83. And Tyler uh, Dylan Williams, 79. Uh, 91, 90, and 89. We got so much depth. It's ridiculous. Steve Evans is a 90. Let's see his kick power. That's a big thing for me. Especially when it comes to, obviously, kicking field goals. Did he improve in anything? Oh, he got 94 kick power and 88 kick accuracy. Um, 86 for Jelani Bell. So we got a really good team again this year. Um, yeah, this team is stacked. I'm going to go to game day, bring a sign that says we went to UAB. Bringing a sign saying we went, we want UAB and I'll put your YouTube on. I don't think you're allowed to do that. I think game day has like a thing where you're not supposed to shout out other people's channel or shout out someone's YouTube channel. I think it's like a rule. <laughs> They'll like take your sign at the door. I, I just, that's just me hearing that though. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, yeah, my team is stacked. You only have one art. You only have one RT. Uh, just redshirt all the athletes, then use them uh, later on in the seasons. All the talent leaving. Yeah, all the talent is leaving next year. Holy cow. I think we might have a dip in talent come next year. Uh, advance to the next stage. We have to, yeah, this is going to be the most excruciating part. So I really don't want to do this one. I really don't. Um, Let's see. We have to cut 12 players. Oh, my lanta. Um, bust. Yeah, cut his. Get him out of here. Um, cut him. Cut him. Cut him. Ain't worth the time. I think he's got to be cut too. As much as I don't want to. He's not. Yeah, he's got to stay though, unfortunately, because he's a tight end. Um, let's see the quarterback position here. We have four quarterbacks. Six running backs. Aaron Hardy is a junior. And none of them are seniors. None of them. It's crazy. Um, if I ever go to di game day, what's up, guys? I'm Sim with this is Sim with Vengeance, and I'm back. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. Y'all are crazy. Go up, yeah, go up in game day and be like, "Yo, let's watch Sim with Vengeance." <laughs> Y'all are nuts. <laughs> They should have held game day in Iowa City, though, when they had the Iowa-Penn State game a while back. Yeah, they should have had game day in Iowa City. That's just me, though. I would have actually went to that, though. Um, wide receivers. Oh, my God. This is tough. Not as tough. There's two players gone. We got some depth, though. Mm. He's fourth string. We got a freshman, Joe Ingram. Steve McDaniel. I kind of like I kind of like Ingram a little bit better. You will lose your pipeline in Virginia. Oh god, I don't want to lose my pipeline in Virginia. Then again, I really don't care about my pipelines at this point because I'm such a I'm a juggernaut at this point. My team is just that good. I could just go up to anybody and be like, "Yo, you want to play for the Blazers?" and they'll be like, "Yeah." For real. So if I lose my pipeline, I really don't care. Dude, I'm a Hawkeye fan. <laughs> I did not ex I'm gonna I'm not gonna rub it into your face. I'm gonna say this. I going into the game yesterday, I did not expect Iowa to go out the way they did and just kick Ohio State's crap out of their right out of their sphincter. Oh, and I, I was like, oh my god, Iowa's winning? It wasn't more like, oh my god, yes, Iowa's winning. Of course they should, because they're just... No, Iowa's not a better team. Iowa should have lost to Ohio State, but Ohio State just kept turning the ball over. I don't know what was Ohio State's deal that day, but they just did not have it. Oh, if Iowa and Iowa State played this week, it would be on game day. For sure. Um... Dude, unfortunately, this guy's not going to get playing time either. 
two more players. Jay Harris. Jared Wiley. I, I'm not sold on him. He's just... No, I can't. Darren Carter's gonna go too. There, there's 70. <laughs> Advance to the next stage. Custom conferences. If I, I think, did Iowa move to the top 25? Or do we not know that yet? Georgia's gonna win the national title this year. That's, Oh God! If I I don't want to say nothing, because I hope they do. I hope someone kicks the living snout out of Alabama and just ends their lives. Because I'm tired of Alabama winning, or getting to the national championship. I really am. I hope they get beat. I don't know hope by who, but I hope it happens. week 11 I will rank number 25 yeah they're ranked 25th god I hope nobody no Alabama does not deserve to go to another championship game if there's well they're what sucks is that they're probably going to we're ranked number one to start off the year I think Any independents left? BYU. Hmm. I want to put them in somewhere in the Mountain West. But no one. I don't want anybody independent though. <laughs> what do you think about the Bucks? Oh God, they're terrible. Their defense is absolutely atrocious. Nevada? I don't know. Nevada's got one of those teams that's like, they're good at times and then they're bad at times. It's like you never know what you're going to get from Nevada at any given time. Uh, Mountain West. I think I'm going to keep the conferences the same. I think I'm going to keep the conferences the same. A team builder dynasty? I was thinking about it, but... It, I like if I wanted to do a team builder dynasty, I wanted to do something that's like spectacular. Like I wanted to create a whole new division, you know what I mean? Like create like a division two dynasty, like or something like that. Like division two football. Cause I went to a division two college back when I was in back to when I went to college, I went to a division two college. Uh, so if I were to do something like that, I would literally do all the research possible to make that happen, but being a Bucks fan sucks. And uh, it could be worse. I mean, you could be a Niners fan or a Browns fan. I mean, I, I like the Bucks. I think they're a, they can be a good team from time to time, but they have moments where they're just they're not good. When's game one starting? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna be recording game one as soon as, as soon as it's over, man. Um, so we're gonna set up our recruiting board. I, uh, where'd you go to college? I went to college at Minnesota State University in Mankato. Being a Giants fan sucks too. Dude, I, I would do my college, but I don't, I don't have the, what is it called? I can't do all 120 teams though. That's what sucks is that I can only do like a slot of 12 and it sucks. Dolphins fan, your life sucks. Oh, man. Well, yeah, you just traded your best player over to the Eagles. Oh, man. Um, I'm going to go skip to recruiting because it doesn't look like we have any. I'm just going to go straight to recruiting. I'm not going to do creating prospects these days because it's just going to take too much of my time, really. It's nothing against, like, 
what they're gonna do. It's, and also, I don't want to create prospects that are too overpowered. So I'm just gonna let it just skip. And I gotta get all these players in there anyway. So. Oh yeah, Mavericks. They're they're Mavericks. Minnesota State Mavericks. We are uh, number three in Division Two. Uh, we are still undefeated as far as I'm concerned. Um, actually, let me look that up. I, we played Wayne State yesterday. I'm, I'm assuming we won. Because Wayne State's terrible. Um, Minnesota State. Minnesota State football. Hell yeah, we won. Oh, God. 48 to 27. Oh, also, um, the Minnesota State kicker broke an N or I think he broke a Division II NCAA record this year by kicking a 63-yard field goal uh, at Blakesley Stadium in Mankato. So that was pretty cool. 10 and 0, baby. I need three outside linebackers, two tackles, a center, a fullback, and a corner. And I also need tight ends. Um, I do not need running backs. Oh, God. Number one athlete, Mike Adams. Number six athlete. Do we really need running backs? I might as well take the ones that are interested, of course. See what happens. Oh, God. This is going to be a... Sh Jesus. Oh, we got a tight end, at least. Oh, that's, that's nice. Oh, a couple tight ends at least. That's nice. I'm only looking at four star recruits, people. <laughs> I'm only looking at four stars. Everybody wants to come to UAB, I swear. Oh god, there we go, there we go, okay. I was 27 in the coaches poll. Oh, they're 25th in the AP. Coaches poll, they, the coaches poll don't mean anything. It really is like, it, it really doesn't mean a thing. God, we have become such a juggernaut of a team that we, everybody just wants to come here. Outside linebacker, baby. Ooh, I'll take that. I'll take that other outside linebacker right there. Dane Rich. I'll take that. I'm gonna start a dynasty. I don't know what team to do though. Uh try um try Arizona State. Yeah. Arizona State's one of those teams that's never really noticed. Good team to watch, you know, or a good team to build. And they're in the Pac-12, which has got a lot of good teams in it. You got Washington State, you got Washington, USC, Stanford, Oregon. Uh, at least in the game. Um, if you get the new roster, they updated it so where you can get, uh, you know, everything up to date. All right, let's do some recruiting. We only got a thousand points. A 79. What's his speed? 69. That's not terrible. Um, oh my god. Well, at least we don't have a quarterback. 80? Oh my god, he went up to an 80? Hello. Eh, he dropped one. That's not that's not a deal breaker for me. No, that's good. That's good right there. Nine oh my goodness. This needs to stop. This needs to stop. Okay, that's fine. This needs to stop! Okay. Oh my god! Quit, Quentin Robinson, stop! Quit making my team good! Like, seriously, stop making my team good! Seventy six, seventy four, 
Oh my god. This this is ridiculous. I'm finding oh god, we found a bus finally. Okay, he's gone. Bye. Bye! <laughs> Ariz yeah, I wanna build up one of the teams like nothing but nothing but because Arizona State's a, like a mid-major. That's fair to say. Um Arizona's a pretty good school. Or Arizona State's a pretty good school. They have I don't think I've seen him in the top twenty five for a while though. That's what I'm trying to get at, is that they haven't made any noise as far as them making a big bowl game or any sort of um you know, any sort of noise. As far as the national championship is concerned, I'm trying to find one of interest level. It's four star recruit. There we go. It's time to stop. Yeah, give me, give me with that clock and be like, it's time to stop. <laughs> okay. Um. Bowling Green would be a good team to play with, that's for sure. I need to get another, uh, I got another coaching attribute that I need to upgrade. You can, you are shown the opponent's previously called play. This can be seen in the upper right of the pl uh, play select menu. Oh my god, that's not even fair. You get a 10% chance to correctly identify the play type of your opponent's next play. That's just broken, man. Arkansas? That's a good... Uh, they've had their moments. I mean, they, they haven't been good since Ryan Mello left. Al South Alabama, FAU, Georgia State, Nevada, New Mexico. Uh, should I do Vanderbilt or Purdue? Uh, do Purdue. Uh, because Purdue hasn't been good, like, since, they haven't even, they weren't even good when Drew Brees was there. Like, they, I don't, I think they may have even made one bowl game, but, ah, man, they haven't been good in forever. Uh, let's take a look at the depth chart. Jay Harris, third string quarterback. We have two All-American quarterbacks. This is ridiculous. Aaron Hardy, All-American, Jermaine McAfee, Jr. Jason Henley, and Jonathan Carrington. I think I might put him at, uh, I might redshirt him. Uh, Tony Marshall, let's see. William Clark, third string fullback. Um, Frank Clement, ace. Yeah, we got so many good receivers. TJ Marshall's a better fullback or a better tight end than or he's better tight end than Thornton is. I guess experience does matter a little bit. The Big Pen was awful that year. I mean if you upped it, you can there's a roster you can download to get the new rosters. So where you can um you can download the new rosters to make it up to date. So it, it all the overalls will, of the teams will change. I don't know if you knew that or not, but there's Stuff out there that you can do that. Pierre Moss is starting at left guard or right tackle. Um, right end is Frank Dubzinski or left end is Frank, Frank Dubzinski. We got Jonathan Johnson at right end. Kemp and Brown at uh, defensive tackle. Uh, 92 overall. John Johnson at linebacker. Linebacker here. Linebacker here. Cornerbacks looking solid. Solid at um, looking solid over here at safeties, and then we have good solid, uh, strong safeties as well. Kicker's fine. Punter is fine. Kick returner. 96 speed with 90 acceleration. We get 96 speed. With, we got Ike Franklin. We have Ben Smith. 95 speed with 95 excel. Rashawn Chase. I'm going to go Rashawn Chase. And I'm going to go Jacob Ingram.
Uh, why don't you do 2K18? I hate 2K. The game is so bad. It's actually bad. And I don't care what anybody says, 2K is bad. Um, did you see the Iowa Ohio State game? Yes, I did. I'm doing one of those um, Bowling Green dynasties. I'm getting into rosters, firing Mike Jinx, because let's face it, Mike Jinx sucks. I'm going to the Christmas game of the Miami to, again, I'm going to do the Christmas get this for Christmas again and get the Miami Ohio State Dynasty um, cop getting a copy for Christmas too yeah they're copy the copies are being sold at stores for still like 45 bucks it's it told it's held its value that's for sure this game has definitely held its value over the over the times um, Kenny writes a 97 that is ridiculous that is absolutely broken all right um choose extra pipeline state nope Nope. Um, custom schedule. Oh, we have to redshirt players. That's. Yeah, we need to redshirt them. Let's see. We redshirt. Do we redshirt Jay Harris or not? I think we do. Only needed in dire situations. We have three running backs here. We're fine. Uh, we keep TJ Marshall because he's our best, best fullback. Uh, Benson's going to get red-shirted as well. I'm not going to bench these guys here because I've... They needed to make a new game. Yes, they've been... I've been trying to, to see... I've been trying to get, like, off this stuff for a while. I wanted to get an X... I want to get a PS4 version. That'd be nice, but if we can't, then we can't. That's not like... I guess I won't lose sleep over it, but it's almost like, dude, we need a new game. But the NCAA is just dumb, and the players of that are dumb. Frank Dubzinski, he's not being shirted at all. Um, I'm not redshirting an 88 overall player, but I am redshirting these two. Goodbye, you're being redshirted. Um, Sean Cummings is going to get redshirted. I can't believe I just redshirted an 83 overall player. That's ridiculous to me. Custom schedules. The best part. How do you add it? Oh, the playoff into the game? You can't. You can't add the playoff into the game. It's a mod. It's a no. It's a mod for PC. That's what I, that's what he means. You can only do it on PC. If you have it on PC, that's fine. FCS Southeast. Oh God! If I played that game, that would be brutal. Uh, South Alabama SEC game can't change it. LSU. Uh, we got Arkansas. Al we have Missouri this year. Finally. Like I don't think I've played Missouri yet at all. Uh, Auburn, Mississippi State. We play Alabama again at Alabama. That's really fun. Um, Texas saying that we have Marshall um, and Stanford. I might keep the Stanford game. I might keep the Stanford game. It actually can be added to X on Xbox 360. But could I actually add it to my current dynasty though? That's the thing. You'll have to you'll have to send me a link to that video, Jackie. You'll have to send me that. You'll have to send me a video on how to do that. Because I could definitely... Uh, I would definitely like to do that to make this dynasty a little bit more realistic, I suppose. <laughs> um, let's change that FCS game. Let's change that FCS game. Um, Clemson. Fresno or Florida State. It's not Fresno State. Um, Iowa State's had a really good year this year. Oh, uh, through Google Plus? Make your... I'm trying to. I've already got it at a name minus. Like, I don't know if I can make it much harder. I don't want to play Oklahoma. I've already played Oklahoma too many times. Um, USC played them already. Virginia and Virginia Tech. Washington played them last year. Uh... Well, that's the, that was the plan. I've, I'm tired of playing Texas. I play them every year in the national championship game. 
Um, Michigan. Number one versus number two first game of the year is not going to happen, though. I know that's not realistic at all. Well, let's see what this game's like. We can open up this game and see what they... Yeah. Uh, Georgia Tech, Navy. Uh, that's it. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, get rid of the Marshall game. We'll see what we can do re to replace that. BYU, Bowling Green, ECU, Idaho, Louisville, Marshall, Nebraska, North Carolina, USC, Tulsa, Wyoming. Okay, that's gonna get. I think that's gonna get blanked out as well. Uh, let's see what we got for Week Five. BYU, Iowa's at thirteen. Um. Wisconsin's always had a pretty good team. What were your thoughts on Gridiron Champions? Uh, I didn't see it. Arkansas State, yeah. I can't do number one versus number two. It just wouldn't be realistic to me. I mean, I could, but I, I guess I could just, I guess I could just go out and say, hey, Michigan, you're just a bunch of phonies. Uh. Stanford. Let's see what I can do to re if there's any team I can replace them with. Clemson, Florida State. Uh, Clemson, Florida State, Stanford. I'm gonna open up that game. Leave this one open. BYU's open. South Alabama is gonna be a blowout. Um, I was at 13. Why is BYU horrible this year? I don't know. BYU just is weird. BYU will just be BYU. I got Missouri this year though. That's a that's an odd game. I never thought I'd have them in my schedule. They, they're they're in the SEC, but it's like I think I'm gonna stick with the Stanford game. Uh, let me check how many home games and road games I got. I'm at one, two, three. Four, five, six. Six home games. Cool. UAB has won the last four national championships. I don't think prevent preserving realism is a possibility. Well, Alabama's been close to doing it. So we got... We, how many ranked opponents do we have on our schedule? One, two, three, four. Could be five, six, seven, eight. Possibly eight. Uh, no, I am not. I'm going to save the first game for, obviously, a video. Um, I'm going to save the schedule. Do you think the SEC is overrated? Yes. The current, right, the real-life SEC is overrated. Uh, because if you look outside of Georgia and Alabama right now, who's there? LSU is overrated. Tennessee is overrated. Florida is overrated. Um... Kentucky's overrated. South Carolina's overrated. Um, let me pull up. Let me pull up my app here. I'll, I'll give you guys a what honestly my opinion is. Standings, SEC. Perfect. Um, Auburn's eh. Mississippi State is eh. They're not. They're not real. Um, South Carolina's bad. Kentucky's bad. Florida's bad. Missouri's bad. Vanderbilt's bad. Tennessee is bad. Arkansas is bad. Ole Miss is bad. Texas A&M is bad. LSU is overrated. Mississippi State, you never know what you're going to get from them. Either a close game or a blowout. Auburn's, I guess, decent. Iowa and Iowa State are 24 and 25. That's ridiculous. Um, the best conference in college football. Definitely in the Big Ten this year. Notre Dame's good this year. Clemson's good. Oklahoma's. They only lost. They lost to Iowa State. Uh, Wisconsin. Why is the Why is the AP, the Associated Press, giving Wisconsin so much disrespect in the polls? They're undefeated. Same with Miami. 
UCF, uh, they're a mid-major. They are giving Wisconsin and Miami such... They're giving them the shaft. Uh, Florida firing their head coach was a, it was a good decision. It was a good decision because they've been playing, like, really bad. Well, they are. LSU's overrated. They don't have an offense. They're... LSU is overrated. Of course they are. It's, I don't say that because it's not true. It's because they're bad. They they can't score. You put them up against a legitimate defense like Alabama, they can't score. Just pointing out the obvious. No hate. Just saying what it is. Big Ten sucks. They only have they don't have a one loss team. Wisconsin's undefeated. Yeah, Wisconsin. They're in the Big Ten. Why does Florida State suck this year? Because they don't have an offense. I know Wisconsin hasn't played anybody yet, but an undefeated record is an undefeated record. And if Wisconsin runs the table and they don't get in the playoff, it is a huge, huge disservice. They have Iowa, Michigan, and Minnesota left. You play your schedule. That's all I got to say. If you play your schedule and beat them, you deserve a chance. With Nebraska just needs to fire everybody. Nebraska's terrible. Same with Miami. If they run the table... They deserve a chance. They just do. And here's their real test this weekend against uh, Notre Dame. No, no one in the Big 12 plays defense except for maybe maybe Iowa State, TCU, and uh, the top teams in the Big 12 don't play defense. Oklahoma definitely doesn't. Oklahoma State doesn't either. Where did Oklahoma State drop to? Number 12, okay. Miami should be in the top four because they beat pretty Virginia Tech pretty soundly. Oh, yeah, I, for sure I agree with that. But the, if if you have Georgia, well, Georgia and Alabama will meet in the SEC championship game, and by then we'll be able to find out which team's going to go to the playoff and which one isn't. Because if we have four teams that run the table – or we have three teams that run the table. Let's say, let's say Georgia, let's say Georgia, Wisconsin, Miami, and Notre Dame. Or yeah, would they? No. Let's say, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, let's say Georgia, Clemson, Wisconsin, and Miami run the table. So I don't think Clemson plays Miami this year. No, they could play in the SEC or ACC championship game though, so that kind of nullifies it. Uh, let's say Miami, Wisconsin, Georgia, and Oklahoma are in the playoff. Like, let's just say those four teams went out. And either Wisconsin or Miami doesn't get in the championship. That is a disservice to college football, and they need to reboot their system again. Because you cannot have Alabama, even a one-loss Alabama team, you can't. They lose the SEC championship game. They don't deserve the playoff. They don't. <laughs> they don't deserve it. I'm just saying. So, back, I got off track by a lot. But this is our schedule for this year. We have Georgia Tech, Michigan, South Alabama, LSU, Arkansas, Alabama, Missouri, Auburn, Mississippi State, Texas A&M, St Ole Miss, and Stanford. Um... That's how the cookie crumb is going to crumble this year. And then I'll try and set up something to where we can get that playoff. Uh, they need an 18 playoff. Yes. Wisconsin and Miami will be will go to the playoff if they win out. No need to fret over that. But, I mean, considering how the polls have worked so far for college football, there's no reason why they shouldn't be top. Th both teams should be, like, it should be Georgia, Alabama, Mi Miami, and Wisconsin in the top four. Not in that order. But you get my point. Right now it should be. Uh, I'm on Xbox 360. Because um, if you play your schedule, 
like who's Alabama played? <laughs> Honest to God, who have they played? Florida State's terrible this year. Fresno State's terrible. Colorado State's terrible. Vanderbilt's terrible. Ole Miss is bad. AM's bad. Arkansas is bad. Tennessee is bad. LSU is overrated. They get their first ranked opponent. Or, well, not their first ranked opponent, because Florida State was number three in the country when the game started. But we all know Florida State's a pretender. Um, Mississippi State's actually a good team, so that's you know why I say an actual good team. Mississippi State might give them a run for their money. Auburn might as well. Mercer, definitely not. Uh, yep. Yeah. Am I streaming? No, I'm not. <laughs> How am I streaming? I have OBS. Um, so let's see what else do I need to do. I think we're all set to go for the 2021 season. Let's do it. Let us do it. They beat Penn State and Michigan and Michigan both ranked. UCF is a dark horse. Yeah, that's for sure. But a mid-major team, I would like to see them make the playoff if possible. If they go undefeated and there's a lot of there's a lot of variables that have to go along with them to make it get them in the playoff. Uh, like Wisconsin losing, Alabama losing, Georgia losing, like everybody would have to lose. If, well, except for one, maybe like one team goes undefeated in the Power Five, and then you have UCF that runs the table. I think UCF deserves a shot. What happened to Louisville? I don't know. I don't know what happened to Louisville. They've been got awful this year too. Um, standings. Let's go ACC. Yeah, Louisville's just bad this year. They had a good start to the year, but they just haven't been good in conference play. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, well. I am going to gonna do a quick recruiting thing here before we end off, so we can see if we can get some instant scholarships or some instant instant commits this year. Um, not scouted. Let's fig let's figure that out first. Ooh, not a bad one there, Trey Scott. Not a bad one there either. Oh, <laughs> nice. Nice, nice. This game needs to stop! Why are we doing this? Why is this happening? Okay. Oh yeah, both Wisconsin and Pest State, both their playoff dreams are over. You can't have a two lost you can't have two lost teams in the playoff. Unless there's like a bunch unless college football has a catastrophe. Oh my god. Unless college football has a catastrophe, catastrophic meltdown, it's not happening. All right, let's go overall. I think they have to be in first place in order for you to get there. Uh, but he's definitely getting a scholarship. All positions. He's getting a scholarship. Oh, he's an instant commit! <laughs> what? Yo! Stop playing! <laughs> 80 overall, dude! Woo! Hold me back! <laughs> Hold me back, man. Holy cow. What in the world just happened? Number 10 receiver. I think he... Well, he was a he was a gem. Yeah, he had a four... I think... I think... Yeah, he's probably one of the better receivers now. He probably jumped up in overall. Um... Uh, Number six athlete. Let's see where he's at. Prospect overview. Okay, we got him a scholarship. If number one, 
If the number one all number 25 lost. Oh, yeah. Number ones through 25 all lost in the same, in the same week, which would never happen because you always got those ranked matchups. What happened to UNC? They just they lost their quarterback, Trubisky. Trubisky was the reason why that team was good last year. And then he went he went pro. Oh my god, another one! You need to stop! Ronnie Sampson. Instant commit. 84 speed as a defensive end. 73, 78 tackle, 78 hit power, 83 play recognition, 82 in power moves, 82 block shedding. This guy's a monster. Okay, he's got a scholarship. He's got a scholarship. He's got a scholarship. He's got a scholarship. Scholarship for you. Scholarship for you. Another instant commit, Jermaine Lee. Are you kidding me? Let's see his stats. Still a 76 overall. Even if he went down, I think he went down, but. I want to see his stats. See, it's still not bad. 81 tackle, 74 hit power. 83 finesse moves, 79 block shedding, 89 pursuit. He's got the ability to make plays. Um. Another instant commit. Number two running back, Lee Peterson. Toledo's pretty good, yeah. What if Alabama's not good and that the, and that means LSU would be good? If LSU would have beat Alabama, then I would have said otherwise. But they didn't. We got three recruits or, or four. We already have four recruits coming in next year. This is just nuts. That's almost not fair. Seriously game, you need to chill out for a minute. And let me just... We got an 80 overall player. I don't need a. Do I need a quarterback? No. I mean, sure. I guess. Quentin Richardson. He's got to come. He's got to be here. Do you think Lamar Jackson will stay for a senior year? He better. He certainly hasn't played like he should be. He should be playing though. He hasn't been good at all. We need a tight end. That's for sure. I'm gonna go 400 a piece for right now. Oh, Jesus. Come on, game. <laughs> Depends on the situation, indeed. Lamar Jackson should stay for his senior year, though, because he hasn't been that good this year. Why does he want to go to Iowa? I don't, I don't know. They have a good scheme. They have a good school. I don't say that much. Me being a little biased, but. Um, let's put some points here for him. Number 42 athlete. He's got 85 speed. Uh, he's got, he doesn't have a bad arm, but it could be better, but... 
UAB did get a bull bid. That's what I'm saying. You know, they're a good team. Um, demands on the situation. Yeah, Iowa too. Iowa got a bull bid. Of course they got a bull bid. They don't play anybody in the they're out of their conference and outside of Iowa State this year, Iowa has played absolutely no one out of the conference. It's just who they are. And oh my God, stop! I got a fifth one. Another recruit. I need an offensive lineman. I was probably going to go to a January Bowl and get beat. That's just how they are. I just got a broken recruiting class. It's like, for real, it's broken. It is so bad. Like, I can't help it. Anyway, let's take a look at the top 25. And, like, it took a look at uh, preseason polls and stuff like that. Um, UAB number one. I finally did it. You see what happens when you stay the course? Hold on a minute. Look at that. Look at that. I, I got nothing. I got nothing. This team's too good. Like, we're going to cream Georgia. Or Michigan. We're going to cream the crap out of them. That's... That... That... Is... Uh, oh, God. It, it, it's over. USC... Good luck. Texas, 90, 97 overall. Notre Dame, Oklahoma, Georgia Tech. Um, Tennessee, overrated. Uh, Penn State, Stanford, Florida State, Mississippi State, Iowa, Clemson, Georgia, Florida, Virginia Tech, Navy, with uh, Washington, Virginia, BYU, Auburn, LSU, Ohio State, and Arkansas. That's the top 25 for this year, or to start the year. Put the sliders all the way down. <laughs> oh, man. Put my sliders all the way down. I'd still win. <laughs> nah, not really. I'd probably lose like by like 50. But that's just... That's, that's nine years. That took nine years to go from... 60, what is it, 62 overall or 66 overall or something like that? To go to that, to that, in a matter of nine years. Uh, let's take a look and see where other notable schools are. Um, let's see who's the worst. New Mexico State, East Carolina, Temple, UL Monroe, Memphis. Memphis is pretty good this year in real life, though. Uh, Florida Atlantic, also a pretty good squad in real life. UMass, Washington State on Fort. Uh, San Jose State, New Mexico, Akron, Tulane, uh, Kansas, not surprised, Wyoming, actually a little surprised, Indiana, Nevada, Colorado State, uh, Army, Georgia State, uh, UTEP, SMU, Utah State, Eastern Michigan, Ohio, Texas State, Idaho, and Maryland. That is your bottom 25, 26 teams. Uh, you got other teams, other notables in here. Louisville's all the way down to 90. Um, they have a pretty good squad, though. I don't know why they're so low. Um, Ball State's even ranked ahead of them. That's weird. Uh, NC State at 81. Missouri's at 74. Um, Syracuse would be at 69. Oregon State at number 62. Arizona State at 55. Alabama at 53. Um, they had a really bad year. I think they finished 4-8 last year. Um, 
they play Marshall, Florida, Rice, Mississippi, Temple, UAB, Arkansas, Tennessee, LSU, Mississippi State, Texas A&M, and Auburn. Uh, Baylor at 52. Uh, South Carolina at 47. South Alabama at 44. They're ranked above Alabama. Wow. What was their record last year? Hmm. Um, Miami at 40. Wisconsin at 36, 38. So not a bad team. Um, Nebraska at 33. Michigan State at 20, 31. Arkansas State at 30. They got a pretty good team. That's nothing to do with my dynasty. The, my other one. That's literally not the other... Not... Not my other dynasty. Legit. Um, Minnesota at 29. Oregon. You might see them in the top 25. Rutgers. Rutgers. How we say it? Utah as well. Uh, so a lot of good teams in the top 25. Uh, a lot of good outsiders looking in. Alabama might bounce back this year in this dynasty. Because they've had a bad few years in a row where they barely made bowl games and didn't make one last year. Uh... Heisman outlook because Kenny Wright was the Heisman winner last year. Uh, he might be favored to win it again, uh, and he is. Ben Stover, uh, Chris Scott, who we play week one, uh, Eddie Williams, and Demarcus Hollis from Ohio State. Preseason All Americans. We got. We probably got a bunch. Uh, Kenny Wright, Frank Clement. Um, we got Frank Dubzinski, John Johnson, Jonathan Johnson, uh, Keenan Brown, David Wright, John, uh, Ray Stokes, uh, Travis Rogers, Matthew Lynch, and Ike Franklin. Second team, we got not really much of anyone uh, except for Kevin Smith. There you go. Uh, let's take a look at all SEC or yeah, all SEC. Uh, Wright and Clement. All Alabama up front, except for the except for the left guard, um, right tackle. Yeah, we have Dubzinski, Johnson, Brown, uh, Wright, Stokes, uh, Smith, Rogers, uh, Lynch, and we have Ike Franklin as returner. Second team we have uh, Turner, Johnson, Lawrence. Um, let's see, McMillan, and that's it. Where is everybody? They just lurking. They lurking right now, but um, that is pretty much the All Americans to list two championship contenders. We're probably gonna be listed as number one for the next four years. Oh, would you look at that? I'm right. That's just that's nuts. 99 overall, all the way, all the way around. That took years to t to do, years. Um, I think that's all we're gonna do today, though. I think that's all we're gonna do. We're I'm gonna eat some dinner and I'm gonna come back and record some videos and I'll probably get this video the week one game against Georgia Tech out to you guys uh, very soon. Like we'll talk we're talking like Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, other than that, I have enjoyed your guys' time. Of course, you guys have been amazing to talk to. You guys are the best fans and supporters and however you want to call yourselves the. You know, if you want to call a name for yourselves, I watch, you know, a lot of college. We all watch a lot of college football around here. I should leave UAB. Um, but you guys have been awesome. And uh, I can't wait to see you guys in the next uh, stream that I do of whether it's going to be Arkansas State or the Bengals franchise or uh, my NBA Live series that I'm trying to do, trying to keep up with. And. All that good stuff. So I'll see you guys in the comment section. Thank you guys for tuning in. Peace out.